today I'm shooting from a very special place, the first eco village in Poland called Grzybów. And I would like to show you around and also uh, let you meet the PhD graduates who live here. And who knows, perhaps this is the way of living that you should consider. In the fall of 2021, while feeling exhausted from the lockdown, I suddenly got an invitation from a friend, Bernadita. Her unusual career story was both intriguing and inspiring to me. After graduating with a PhD in economics, she left big city life and academic career and moved to the Christian community Ziarno, located in the proximity of Warsaw City, the capital of Poland. Ziarno is a small, yet dynamic, hardworking, and almost self-sustainable community. So hi, I'm Mathieu, I'm from Belgium. Next to a little farm, cheesery and bakery, we have a university where students can learn ecological farming principles, hotel rooms and lecture halls. The trip was definitely worth it. I first came here three years ago because of the way the, they see here the, the farming practices. They have quite a small organic farm, but then they, they still manage to produce quite a lot with really high quality products. And I think they do that by taking benefits of the heterogeneity and the diversity of the farm. But then I, I chose to come back here three years later because of, uh, in addition to this great way of the, how they see agriculture, there is also a really nice uh, welcoming community here. The, there are people with many different backgrounds, but they share in common the great values and beliefs and they, they all share the will to, to, to change a bit the society. It's a, it's a wonderful place and I'm really glad to be here and surely I, I will come back later again. <laughs> The Ziarno members spend a lot of time building bonds in the community. They dine and sing together, and on Sundays they pray together. As a visitor, I was welcome to join despite my lack of singing skills and complicated relationship with God. So, Bernadette, tell us how, how, how it happened that you arrived at the Jarno community and how is your life here and how do you feel as a PhD graduate living and working in this place? Yeah, I have been studying economics for 12 years, <laughs> so most of my work was dedicated to science. I worked in the university, but I have been dreaming about moving to the village, uh, especially <laughs> eco village. I was looking for eco village in Poland, somewhere uh, close to my hometown where I can move, live and change my life. This was uh, quite hard because it's not a popular idea in Poland to run eco village to, to live uh, in a different way like mi minimal to practice minimalism once i uh, searched something in the internet i found grzybów people from grzybów invited me and eventually i i came to know how it looks like what the, are the opportunities here and the first time I came here, I decided that it is my place and I uh, started to prepare for such a big change. It was the place from my dreams, but I didn't know that this place exists. I thought I need to 
create something uh, new or something that uh, I I need. But such a place exists. So when I found uh, Grzybów, I decided to move uh, from Warsaw. Also, I quit my job and it, it was uh, hard uh, for me. And the more time I spend here and I live here, <laughs> the more I, I like the village. <laughs> And can you tell us briefly what you do? What are your duties here? For, for now, I have been doing many different things. Also, uh, helping with the farm, with bakery, um, organizing courses. I am a coach, so I also do uh, workshops or um, meetings for local community. And it's, it's uh, quite good for me. I help, I, most, most of the time I help Eva, who is the director of the foundation and I'm like her assistant. I work in the same office, I try to uh, help her with all her duties and it's a lot. <laughs> Uh, hello everyone, uh, today uh, we uh, have a special episode uh, that is um, made from uh, Ziarno community, uh, Ziarno Eco Village. And we are here today with um, Eva Smuk Stoltenberg, who, uh, who is the founder of this uh, great community. And uh, I have a great pleasure to, uh, to talk to Eva about uh, her. Uh, about the, the, the very beginnings of her journey as the founder of this of this awesome place and um, Eva, uh, uh, how did it happen that you like you as like a big city girl <laughs> ended up here in uh, in Grzybów? Yeah. <laughs> and truly, I am from the city center, and I actually never imagined to live in a village because we we. In our family, we have forgotten roots to the village. And my parents, they were rather people who were, even in the socialistic Poland, more or less middle class. And for them, moving to village was a real shame. So, so they never really took me to village. And the first time I came in encounter with village life, when I started to be a bit, um, how to say in English, buntownik, like uh, rebellious rebellion in my family and I didn't want to go to these fancy vacations with my parents and I wanted to hitchhike to the mountains and uh, do some trips there and then once I remember I was walking through the mountains and there was a harvest in the mountains mm -hmm. and the people were were collecting uh, straw and they and I was so fascinated and I wanted to help them and they taught me even how to make a rope from straw, from from straw. It's called powrusło in Polish, and I was so fascinated. And I felt it's it's a different life. But of course, myself, I would never uh, take such a big decision to move up mm -hmm. to the village because it was I felt really like an alien. But my life has has turned out so that at one moment uh, I met Peter. I met Peter in Warsaw, where I was involved in creating the first Polish organic market in 1991, last century. And, uh, and then we, we decided at one moment to be together. And uh, in the beginning, I thought uh, maybe we could live in Warsaw because actually I had a very beautiful career, not maybe in a financial sense, but I was... Uh, Involve. Uh, I initiated a very big movement for women's rights in in uh, labor, in breastfeeding, in, uh, and it was uh, amazing work, and I loved it. And uh, uh, so I asked Peter, maybe we could live in Warsaw, and he already had a farm here, and he loved the farm. I, I really felt like he his roots are here. So somebody had to. Take a decision, and finally, I decided to move here. And in the beginning, I even tried to work in Warsaw, going there twice a week. But since I had many children, it was a bit complicated. 
And then I got pregnant with, with the last child and I decided to quit working in Warsaw. While spending a few days in the community, I experienced extraordinary hospitality and tolerance. Despite me being agnostic, the community members invited me to all their gatherings, including group Bible reading. They were open to discussing their faith with me and answered my most challenging questions. I felt like a family member here. I believe that anyone tired of big city life and seeking alternative ways of living should visit a community like this at least once to learn that empathy and hospitality go a long way, and that contact with nature has profound healing effects on your mind and body. Before we leave, let's welcome the children. <laughs>